Edwards Dairy Farms plays an integral role in the Drink Real Milk campaign, initiated by the Nutrimix team. Sheldon Edwards, director of the entity, tells us more. We moved here when I was, um, we're in transition, when I was a baby, and basically grew up here. And all my life, we've been spent here. Everything is based here. And I wanted my children to grow just like who I grew. So we stayed and we, we developed it and here we are now. I think um, the whole world is getting more health conscious. And with the information at our fingertips, we can research and we don't depend on people marketing and telling us, boy, this is good. We can see for ourselves what is what. So milk and any other product has a chance to compete. Not based on advertisement or some pretty person telling you what to do. You can see for yourselves what is good and what is bad, and what, what to do and what not to do. And you can um, get information. A lot of people think they are lactose intolerant, and, but when the milk is processed a certain way, then it doesn't affect them. I've had people, um, two young ladies came up the other day, they were lactose intolerant, they had the milk, and I checked up on them and they fight. I think the collaboration with Nutramix is very good. I think um, they've given us a chance to not only milk, with other um, products to show what is what, what we have, what Jamaica has. You know, a lot of stuff in Jamaica are fresher, they are more flavor, and I think that the rest of Jamaica need to know this, and knowledge is the key. Welcome to Edwards Dairy. My name is Marlon. We're going to take you through the process how we make dairy fresh milk. So the process starts when the cow gets in, it's washed and prepped to put on the clusters on it, on the cow. And an average cow on this farm gives us between 9 to 10 liters and it takes about 6 to 8 minutes to milk them. How this works is as you can see, the milk comes into the, the milk comes into the cluster and it goes, it goes in a pipeline to a holding tank where it's cooled down. And then after this, the cow is washed and released to go to the pastures. This is our holding tank. From this holding area, it goes to the pipeline to this holding tank right there, right? And this. Is where we hold it till where we are, when we are processing the milk. And we process here Mondays and Thursdays. We connect stainless steel pipeline to the tank and we, we pump it up to the processing area. From the holding tank, it feeds the pasteurizer that heats the milk to a certain temperature and cools it down rapidly, eliminating 99% of the bacteria in the milk. Right? This machine here is a homogenizer which breaks up the fat modules so you have one creamy consistent milk. Then it goes back into the pasteurizer for another heat treatment. Then it goes into a holding tank on a higher level which feeds the filling machine. Which is this machine right here. And this machine uses time fill bottles. So a different size in a different time. Like a small bottle, maybe three seconds. So we do four three second bottles. And you have a big bottle that takes ten seconds. This is our control panel which is used to for the pulsators and for those equipment to work. This machine is a dating machine. This puts out a date on the bottles as they pass. And straight into the core room. 